Hey guys and welcome back to more No Man's Sky. In the last episode we sorted out our settlement. We got to the point where we have nothing left to do. Now we have to just wait for events or maybe find more blueprints for buildings. I don't know exactly how it works, but we'll figure it out. Now in the meantime, what I want to do for today is I want to focus on a few things. Uh, first of all, I want to go to a toxic planet and I want to see if we can craft some acid. It's worth a lot of money. And I don't know how long it takes to collect 600 fungal mold. Um, Mordite, I got a lot of just killing every animal around my base and on the planets in general. And um, it comes with the, the meat, um, so we don't have any shortage of that. But fungal mold on a toxic planet, I don't know how long it will take to collect them. So if, they go, if, it get, if that goes really fast, we might uh, as well make a lot of money today. However, in case it doesn't go very fast, I want to collect some anyway, because we also want to hopefully craft fungal clusters today. So that way we can start looking at, you know, how do we grow our own fungal? So, you know, maybe growing 600 doesn't take that long. And we also want to look at crushed ships. So I bought this distress signal um, chart and we can buy a couple of more, which I believe can either get you to a crash site where you can claim the ship. And if we get lucky, we get to a valuable ship. We might actually like make some money or be able to trade it in for a good working ship at the space station. Otherwise, I think is you can come across a pilot that needs help or something. So you don't end up with a ship, but we'll see. We're going to buy a few of them and um, spend some time on that. We're also going to go and buy some upgrades. I spent a lot of time in the last episode during the settlement uh, building um, where we had downtime. We had to wait 20 minutes here. 20 minutes there for things to happen on getting all those buried um, tags like so we're gonna be able to spend them on a lot of things today hopefully so before we're gonna go into the toxic planet um, I'm gonna call the anomaly and we're gonna check out the exosuit there's I didn't know that there was um, at the exosuit upgrade station or mod station there's apparently somewhere where you can upgrade your exosuit as well and if I call this anomaly at a different system it has another exosuit, so it's the same as the Starship Station, which is amazing. So we definitely want to check that out. Yeah, I'm gonna have a quick look at this. So this is something I haven't actually played around with yet, the appearance modifier. So apparently it can be any other type of race. Like it can be a gek race that looked funny there for a second. Oh, that's like a Starship Trooper. That's it. That's the look we're going for. Sexy time. Look at that. We're looking like a potato. And our backpack. Like, I mean, how do you not... You see this coming. You see this running right at you. You're going to be terrified of this. Oh, look at that. That is the sexiest thing I've seen in a long time. Oh, man. My eyes are watering. So this is the exosuit guy, and I didn't know that you can interact with this thing. So let's see if that's true. I don't see anything inside, but oh, look at that. I think I'd rather a technology slot, but cargo slots I prefer. I mean, cargo slots are the most useful because they double up your inventory. So I'm gonna spend the 500,000 on that. So we're just here at the construction modules and I think um, from what the guys have been saying is that um, I need a bigger room to get the hypo farm thing to work and we're gonna unlock this. I mean, we have enough. Cylindrical room has a lot of space. We should be able to do something with it. We have a big square room as well. I might as well get the door. I mean, we have 33 salvage data left, so I might as well. Access ramp, oh man, sexy time. Um, straight corridor. I, I could spend all my points on this now. This is so addicting, but I'm gonna get the access ramp and that's it. That's it, no more. What is that? No, no more, that's it. So the hydroponic farm uh, apparently works better in the round rooms, but I really would like to unlock that as well though. Let's see, is there anything else that I should need first? I want to get the floor switch actually, because I want to test if that works with the uh, teleporter that I can basically, instead of consistently have it powered, only powered when I step on the plate and then I travel and then it's off again. I want to get, oh yes, mineral extractor, I'm gonna buy that. Personal refiner. This basically acts like your current refiner and allows you to um, craft on the go. So if you find resources and you want to save space and convert your um, uh, resources into the next higher level where you can also convert them back again for later use that is the one to take along with you I'm gonna unlock this right now so now all we have to do is install the backpack upgrade in here and we don't have enough chromatic metal and we don't have enough oxygen but that's fine we can get that very easily okay so we have the oxygen here that we need and the chromatic metal as well. So we need 150 of those. And then we're going to get um, 58 chromatic metal. 
Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. And now we have an onboard refiner. I actually don't know how we access this. Um, <laughs> it has no fuel. Oh, we click on it. Fair enough. Okay. So I was just checking up on my settlement again. And I have an option. I didn't even know. Get, I didn't get any notification. And if I did, I missed it. And let's see if we can make another decision. Oh, commercial exchange. Oh, my God. Citizens have petitioned with specifications for the development of a new commercial exchange. Okay, so now we actually have to build um, that exchange. Where is it? Show it to me. So this is the building that we have to build. It looks rather small for a big exchange, but we'll see. Let's see what it needs. Now, oh, 340 silicate power. Well, we're going to collect that very quickly. That's no problem. We're just going to dig a big, gigantic hole right here into the mountain. So we have the units. Let's see how long it takes. Probably 20 minutes. Wow, two hours. Yeah, we won't be doing that today. Absolutely not. <laughs> this is amazing. But this will be a 30,000 increase in productivity. Now, actually, before we leave this planet uh, to go to the toxic planet, I want to read the, the map. Hopefully it will be on this planet. Okay, oh, crash site located. Nice, nice, I like it. And is it on this planet? It, I can see it there. It's off planet, so it's a crashed freighter. Ooh, this might be tasty. I think this is also the toxic planet. We might actually be killing multiple birds with one stone here, because not only is the crashed ship here, I think this is also the planet that was suggested as the next... Um, location for the next beacon to continue the story which is amazing if that would i think so i think so is it yes actually it is yeah let's make a butter nice landing and land close enough oh it is a huge freighter oh wow this seems to be the freighter that we actually had to go to as part of the story quest i didn't know you can end up getting it as a crashed ship so it seems that we just get these cargo pods for around this freighter. I, I thought we can actually claim it like we can claim the ships. <laughs> okay, that doesn't seem to be the case, I guess. A master circuit. We need magne magnetized ferrite. Okay, so I made a few of them. Let's see. That's the first one here. So what are we going to get for it? Anti-meta housing. Oh, and no. Oh, yeah, it is radiation. Yeah, we have to get out of here. Oh, my lord. I have to get out of here. There we go. Whew. So let's see what this one gives us. And skedaddle. What is that? A flexible upgrade circuit compatible with all person multi-tools. This module can be wired into a multi-tool at a space station multi-tool upgrade rack. Uh, granting the user space in the multi-tool. The problem is my multi-tool is already fully upgraded, I think, for what it's allowed. So I don't even think I can actually uh, upgrade it. But this is a really good piece to have, obviously. And again, let's see what we get. I mean, the rewards seem to be amazing. Oh, wow, we got 59,000 credits. That is awesome for free. And see what we get. Oh, another multi-tool expansion slot. Oh, that's amazing when we get a new multi-tool. You see, this one opened up straight away as well. I didn't need to click it again. But we got a warp cell, which is great. We actually didn't check this one out here at all. Let's see what we get. Partial records. Read log. My love, I dive into a black hole tomorrow. I know we agreed not to. I warned them about advisable of such large vessel moving through the rift but they're arrogant vain creatures are they not we emerge into the skies above the anomaly Re uh, reality itself has abdicated here vast hexagons litter the landscape of this once proud planet now become the plain the plaything of our unseen foe i fear i will not be back home for time for tea time <laughs> dinner time we drank the water my love forgive me so it seems that I did it in the wrong order. So we should have spoken to this guy first. Now, this is the first time that I did a distress signal where it was actually a freighter. So I wasn't sure how this works. We just started digging. But apparently, you need to talk to this guy first so that you get the quest unlocked for freighter salvage. 
which then asks you to actually do exactly that, like press C, and then as you can see on the bottom right, it says, hey, get the cargo pods. Um, we already did, so we can't complete the quest, we have to abandon it, but we got the loot, which is great. I don't know if you can abandon it. So I forgot, I actually manually saved just before I started this, and that was just by chance. It wasn't actually intentionally. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna repeat all this now again, um, but do it in the right order and then that way we at least can complete the quest i don't think there will be anything new but it just means we might get unlucky and we're not going to get the multiple upgrades but anyway i'm just going to do this quickly and um hopefully that will work okay so this is the last one again now so let's see if anything special happens now when the mission finishes we get like an extra reward or something uh, we got the same multi-tool expansion slots again which is pretty good and it ticked off the quest i don't think we got an additional reward so yeah it's just the order of things if you do it in the wrong order you just can't delete the quest so yeah which is annoying but luckily that worked out now so we completed the quest and we got the same things pretty much um i think we got exactly the same stuff so now we can go back on track this is actually the right planet it's the toxic planet and um, we already found some um, ammonia when we were um, grinding for ferrite um, but this one is the Funkel Cluster, so hopefully 500, ah, yeah, we're just gonna go by foot and um, hopefully this will give us the 600 moles we're looking for. I don't know how much there is actually there, I mean it could be that you only get one or two and getting 600 could take forever, but oh wow, this looks like there is gonna be a lot. This is amazing, we just found that in a one of those abandoned things that we came across, so let's install it. Oh, we already have it, actually. We have this one. I don't think they're stuck. I don't think so. They? Oh, they do. Oh, crap. That's amazing. So we now have core health and shield strength increased twice. Oh, that is really, really cool. All right, this is the fungus. Class. Let's see how many we get. Oh, we got 16 in one go. So that is actually not bad and there's a few right beside each other and how many did we get in total? 155 so 600 might be a bit of a task but um, we have definitely enough to craft uh, the fungal pot which we definitely want to do as well. So we have nearly 500 now but just to um, entertain ourselves a little bit more where's the big guy? Let's see if we can ride this guy. Hey you, have some food, do you like the food? Holy shit, you're huge. Um, collect eggs, what? What is this? What is this sorcery? Adopt the companion, yes. Oh, oh baby. Oh yes. I have so many plans for you. You gave me eggs? What eggs are these? Um, oh, they're edibles. Oh, I thought they were eggs and I could grow more of you. Okay. Well, don't worry. I give you another treat. I will also pet you a little bit. So look at you. You're so cute. Wagging your tail, being so amazing. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Okay, where's the cluster? Oh, oh my God, you're slow. <laughs> Can you not run? Oh, okay. That's a little better. That's awesome. Look at that. No idea what that is, but I'm not gonna say no to that. Some floating minerals, okay. Surely sounds exciting. What do we get from them? Oh, glowing minerals. Oh, nice. Oh, yes. That is actually pretty cool. And they're 25,000 each, and we can turn them into 500 silver or something that sells for nearly double. Oh, that is amazing. Uh, ow. So yeah, I think we're gonna uh, leave this one here with 600, uh, 500, 6, 700. That should be enough for the 600 mold um, that I'm gonna craft just as a principal thing. So we're going to craft that. Um, I think we need Mordite, which I have at home, but then we have enough left to craft that special seed or something. And then I think we can test growing it once I figured out how to set the hypertrophic farm, whatever it's called. Once I figured out how to set that, I might spend actually 10 of my salvage data and buying the big one once I know how to place it and then we can have four at a time so every time one grows we can make another one and then we will have four which makes 200 at a time and if we get to a point where we can have 600 with every pop or more we can literally craft one of those 
every time they pop every four hours which means the bigger your farm get this is like eight a hundred and eighty eight thousand every time so you could make like millions every time you farm them, which would be great nice a safe point as well which is great And we got some navigational data for that. Sweet. So let's see what we have to do here. Let's see what we have here. The life form that works or worked in this installation left its equipment scanning the skies for interesting new system and special phenomena. In its absence, it struck gold. A beacon has been received and a transmission sequence awaits a response. Ooh, okay. One, two, one, two. Two, one, two, one. One, two, one, two. Oh, it seems to be moving. Okay, so two, one, two, one. I discover a location within the distant stars. Oh, gee. Oh, nice! Signal detected. Unidentified wavelength sending location to data. Okay, but I thought the whole point of our mission right now was to triangulate, so I thought that's why we're landing here. Yeah, it is this. We have that access. Okay. Excellent. So it is actually... So this was two different things. The triangulate was something we had to do here, but it also had the building for us to find ancient runes. That's pretty amazing. So, but at least I don't have to worry about that now. So pick up the signal. And I think we should then get the next location possibly. And oh yeah, there it is. Off planet, of course. Okay, here's the other location. We're gonna have to build a beacon. Oh, hello. Captain New Planen. <laughs> no plan. The trader emits a strong flowery scent which quickly enters my exosuit system. I feel overcome with nostalgia for a perfect place I've never visited. Stupid friend. <laughs> Trade 4. Okay. Flushed with joy, I tried to signal my thanks to the trader for this uh, all factory gift, but they make it clear that they expect something in return. Well, the traders, they, they want money, so give them money. Beautiful scene collapses. I feel crushing disappointment. Oh, okay. You want pure fer fer ferret uh, thing, is it? Okay, I craft some. Okay, we just used some plain fer uh, ferret uh, to make the difference. So we should have it now, if that's what he wants. Oh, he doesn't give us a second chance. Oh, wow. Okay, Mr. One Chance. You know, you could have just said, oh, I prefer this. And I would have said, sure. Here you go, but you just made it awkward. Let's have a look at least and see what we have here. Observatory hums gently as it scans the sky. The trader that mined it was clearly looking for something in the cosmos, and it seems Observatory may have found it. We can decipher this beacon's code and may be able to pinpoint its origin. Okay. 9183. 1839. 83. Okay, so everything goes in one number after the next, so. It's going to be 3918. I crack the code and find the location was in the depth of the star. Our standing is increased with the gag. Very nice. Um, but yeah, why can I not place the other B? Oh, hang on. The icon is still here. Why is it? I thought we just solved the puzzle. Okay, maybe we got it wrong. I'm not sure. Yeah, we're correct. My efforts were okay. Oh, we just have to keep doing that. Okay. So how many times can we... The new location is revealed to me. Okay, we, we keep getting our standing increased, but okay. Infinite loop, I guess. And another standing increase. So I'm going to be doing this for a while until I'm rank 9, I guess. <laughs> well, we were able to do that a few more times until it broke. So, again, let's see if we... Oh, look, we are rank 4. So we actually ranked up. That was really amazing. But the icon is still here. Do we get the option to triangulate? No, we don't. Okay. 
I'm gonna plant it right here on top and see if that makes a difference. Is it? No, it's still not allowing us. What is going on? Okay, it seems like we can actually build inside this room and this is the closest we can get to that icon. No, it's still not working. So this seems to be a bit buggy, so I'm not sure exactly what's right and what's wrong, but we created a save point, we saved, we reloaded, and now the red is gone. So maybe now it recognized that we went into the building and it says, okay, you did that part, now do that part. Um, so let's see if that works. There we go, yeah. Very good. That's the last resort. And that works now very, very nice. So yeah, so the, 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 the non-boogie version, I guess, would be you go into the building, it continues to the next quest. Maybe talking to the alien or something kind of triggered it so that it's all weird now. So can we pick it up now? And that's it. Return to the space con uh, to space to contact um, our team. Okay, so back in the space we go and hopefully Artemis or Artemis, I actually don't know if it's Artemis or Artemis, I suppose Artemis. When I first reached out to the Havens, I had no idea what to expect. The beauty, the mystery, the adventure, the danger. And here we are, aren't we? Yes, we are. Go to a hollow terminus, upload your data, let's find each other. It's so romantic. <laughs> okay, a hollow terminus. Is it also on my planet? My planet has a lot of things. No, it's actually not on my planet. It's... Ooh. So we're back on the toxic planet, um, looking at the hollow terminus. Ooh. I'm gonna stick, stick this landing. I'm gonna stick it. I'm gonna stick it. There we go. To to totally perfect. Look, I mean, look at this. There was not even a scary moment for a second. Now, first things first, I learned my lesson. Save. We're standing here in front of the holographic comms tower. Let's enable it. Multiple signal sources available. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter designed to facilitate holographic communication across long distances. There we go, we're seeing our friend now. Bam! Ooh. There's Artemis. Can you tell me how to pronounce your name, dude? Have you triangulated your position? Well, yes. Let me know when you're ready to receive some. Now, the guys in the anomaly said, yes, you should help him, but be, be wary. So maybe I explode now. Oh, we're really getting somewhere. Hold on. I'll just... I'm gone. I'm dead. They transmit some data of their own, a star chart showing the skies around their location. I don't have any equipment, I don't know where I am, I don't even know how long I've been here. So I've taken an old-fashioned approach, I've sketched the stars. Very nice. You had a sextant, yes? You should find plenty of locals uh, able to match our star pattern. My ship was nearby, so we can't be far apart. I patched my translator through, which reminds me, his ship. I'm gonna have to actually make it flight-worthy and then see if I can trade it in for a better ship. I'll patch my translators through so that you can understand what they are saying. You need to calibrate it first, but it should only take a few words. Oh, cool. Good luck. Or maybe see you soon. This is exciting. We're making a new friend. <gasps> Ooh. What is that? An automatic translation device. Devices must be calibrated by preloading with existing translation data. Devices must have a network. Okay, we need some copper. This is going to take some time. I am back on my home planet. I just got the copper that I need. So let's put that in and let's put the microprocessor in. And I think that's it. The translator is installed. And um, we're probably gonna move it around a little bit. Um, let's move some things around and keep them here. Yeah, we're gonna have to actually upgrade our technology stack as well. So um, in regards to the mushrooms, the, the, the fungal clouds, we are actually going to craft obviously um, that item for 188,000, but we're also going to work out the farming. Oh, speak with aliens on planets and space stations to learn their dialect. Learn words from ancient runes and historical sites. I already learned a lot of them, but maybe we have to do it again from scratch. 
Okay, to locate an alien outpost and yeah, okay, fair enough. Let's see if it finds one. Actually, the runes that we found, they are actually on our planet, which is amazing. Um, search for an inhabited outpost to exp uh, speak with an alien. Yeah, we're going to find aliens, we're going to find stones, so um, that shouldn't be a problem, but we're going to focus on that next time. Um, I'm going to leave this actually here, so sorry this wasn't as focused this episode, but that's the way the game is. Like, you, you plan on doing one thing, you end up with another, and... Um, it just is the way it is. So, thank you very much for watching. And I hope you had a good time with it anyway. We are going to go back to the settlement as well next time because it's like a two hours or something like. So yeah, we're going to have to kick off another uh, round there and see when the building is finished, what happens next. But anyway, I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to do some searching of uh, distress signals between episodes. And then if I find something really cool, I'm going to make sure I record it and put it into the next video or something like that. But anyway. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys had a good time with it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls and I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And see you guys next time. Until then, as always, fruit pass and happy gaming.